Edie. My name is Ken Edie. I'm a branch manager of a plant hire company called Uden Tool Hire. And um, I'm also a part-time professional football player with Clyde Bank Football Club. The company that I'm actually working for at the moment um, sponsor uh, Clyde Bank Football Club. We are the main sponsors for the next two seasons. And my main job here is to, is to make profit for the company. Um, as all the bosses would tell me. But, you know, I've got a lot of day-to-day -day things that um, also come up, uh, which I've got to deal with. I don't tend to split it as office workers and, and, and workshop workers, but we're sort of one big family in this depot. A lot of people don't realise that um, some part-time footballers have got other occupations during the day. Uh, they have to work sometimes over 40 hours a week, uh, as well as go to matches midweek, you know, train midweek nights. And, it's a bit demanding at times. <laughs> what some people don't realise is that uh, there's a lot of players in the game who are part-time, uh, like myself, but don't have another job, um, don't have employment, and they're actually unemployed. Um, and probably drawing dough money during a close season and they're not getting paid wages from the club. Your chance the other day... I think unless you're actually playing with one of the top four or five clubs in Scotland, I think it would be very difficult to, to make... Um, uh, a lot of money out of the game. I think one of the main reasons that um, I've been at Clyde Bank for four years uh, is the fact that the, the team spirit is um, out of the four clubs that I've played at. It's probably um, the best and I, I think that's why I've lasted so long there. The game tonight, there's not a lot at stake, but um, by them losing their manager yesterday, um, it might rebound on us. Uh, there might be a lot of their players fired up to try and go out and prove to this new manager that um, they're due a regular place in the side. Number eight, Lansdowne. Number nine, Indy. Number ten, Lanigan. And number eleven, Sir Manny. I'm actually going back to one of my old clubs tonight. This is the, the club where I started my professional career. Uh, I still have a little soft spot for them. I'm probably classed as one of an old fashioned uh, Scottish centre forward. Typical, uh, probably Joe Jordan's the last one Scotland's had. Uh, I like to attack the ball in the air. Uh, I score probably 50% of my goals for the head. I've actually got, um, to date, I think I've got 22 this season. Um, last year, I was fortunate to finish top scorer in Scotland uh, with 30. It's great to score. I mean, whether it's at training or uh, at a game on a Saturday or a midweek game like tonight, um, every goal, it doesn't matter if it hits the backside and goes in. It's a great feeling. But most strikers, if they start bad, if their touch isn't right, you know, they tend to struggle through the game. I feel if I haven't scored or if we haven't won, uh, I've not done my job properly. It'll not affect my performance at work. I um, obviously feel a bit tired in the morning because I'm not going to get back till about um, half past 11 tonight. Um, I probably won't get to my bed before I wind down. It's very difficult. I, don't, I, I can't sleep actually when um, I go home after a midweek match. It's a long day for, for a part-timer. I'll be thinking about it for the rest of my life, what would have happened um, if I had taken the, the opportunity to go full-time with a bigger club. Um, something I don't try to dwell on. Part-time players look to the future, I think, um, if they have got a career behind them in something else. And certainly I've chosen that option. And uh, 